Hey, I'm Jeff. And I'm Phil, and we're the Cocktail Dudes. Today we're going to make the Jack-O-Lantern. Ah. Very good cocktail. Yeah, featuring Applejack, right? Yeah, it's very bright, very bold. This is a great cocktail. It tastes like fall, right? Mm-hmm. You got pumpkin in there, and yeah. then like a really good apple backbone to yeah. it. Because we're using apple brandy, yeah. right? Yeah. That's what this layered stuff is. They have the Apple Jack, which is what you're most apt to find on your grocery store shelves, right? Yeah, and uh, well, there, there's a little difference there. The, the Apple Jack is apple brandy, but it's only uh, 35%. And then the rest is uh, neutral grain spirit. Right. And it's 80 proof, so it's not as hot. Um, yep. And so you can use a little bit more of it. Uh, we prefer to use the apple brandy, but it's a little bit harder to find. Um, it's going to be uh, 100 proof, mm -hmm. and it's 100% all apple brandy. Yeah, so that's nice. And like I say, you can use either. Mm -hmm. If you're using the apple jack, you want to use two ounces. Two ounces, a little more. Mm -hmm. And the apple brandy, because it's higher in alcohol, just an ounce and a half. That's right. But they mm -hmm. both give you a nice little hints of apple. Which are is perfect with the with the pumpkin, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of people are well, applejack. Why why is it called applejack? Yeah. When it comes to the you know the stuff that you can find, and it comes back to how they would distill it. Um, Applejacking would be you would take cider, we call mm -hmm. it hard cider in America here, and you would uh, you put that in a barrel and leave it outside in the winter, let it ice over, yeah. And then every once in a while you go out there scoop the ice out so it concentrates it down. Yeah. So um, they also distill it the traditional way as well. So. Yeah, now it's distilled yeah, by boiling mm -hmm. the concoction, but jacking is the, is the traditional way, right? right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, let's begin. We're going to start by putting one and a half ounces of our apple brandy That's right. into our cocktail shaker. And again, two ounces if you're using the apple jack. And we're going to sweeten that with a half ounce of maple syrup. Another good fall Ingredient, right? Mm -hmm. Pumpkin and maple syrup, perfect together. Yeah, they are awesome. There you go. We've tried sweetening, sweetening this different ways with fall on them, right? Mm -hmm. Simple syrup, things like that. But yeah. the maple syrup is very soothing and warming. And when you're drinking this, you feel like you want to be like wrapped up in a blanket by the fire. Exactly. Right? <laughs> and then uh, three tablespoons of pumpkin puree, mm -hmm. right? And we make our own pumpkin puree. We have a video to show you how to do that if you want to do that from a pie pumpkin. Yeah, very easy. Uh, you can certainly buy store-bought pumpkin puree, yep. canned, uh, but don't make the mistake of getting the pumpkin pie filling. Yeah, because that has all sorts of spices in it, Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. Good if you're making a pie, I suppose, but not if you're making a right. jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> all right, so in goes the pumpkin puree. Right, we'll add ice to that and shake it up. This has the taste of pumpkin, right? Mm -hmm. If you want something that tastes like a pumpkin pie, you're going to want some of our creamy pumpkin cocktails, like our pumpkin, pumpkin pie martini or our pumpkin Alexander, right? That's right. We also have a pumpkin flip. Yeah. So if you're like lactose intolerant and yeah. you need something else to cream, if to add the cream, you can throw an egg in there. Yeah, so, that's okay. very pumpkin pie-ish. Mm -hmm. But this tastes like pumpkin and is incredible. We're going to dust it with a little bit of cinnamon. And that's all you need for your delicious, delightful, very rich, flavorful Jack-O-Lantern. Enjoy. Cheers.